that commissioned us. And also, that's none of your business anyway. Of course it is! They had people steal from my territory! So I have to teach them a lesson! <laughs> Why don't you just give it back to me? It's so important to us that I'm willing to exchange it for your lives! So you need the whole gang armed and ready to handle three people? This is the Silver Tears? <laughs> it's even weirder than the rumors. Wait, is that a flashbang? Correct. It's a GS2 High Lumen military flashbang. The blast is quite strong. Awesome! Time to wake up, Billy! What? to resist in that case i have no choice but to kill you all <laughs> you've made a mistake mister we aren't your enemy that is falcon four to commander we've arrived at the source of the light and found the red fang gang repeat we found the red fang gang awaiting orders Boss! It's the Air Force! That flashbang just now, it was to attract the helicopter! You finally noticed? Now it's your turn to choose, you crybaby. You can stay and fight us, and then get caught by public security. Or you can run, and we all get to live. Damn you! Cutting hairs! It's in a 
hair's nature to avoid getting caught. Don't hold it against me. What? You found the red face? Then what are you waiting for, Commander? Pick the biggest gun and rain down justice! Falcon 4, attack order received. We're done for. I want to fire like a plane! Play some background music to pass the time. Confirmed. We've fallen into a hollow. Let's get going. An ethereal. That was quick. Tracks, platforms, carriages. This is the old metro junction. If that... Good. Headset still works, and the recording function is normal. <clears throat> this is Anby Damara, a member of the Odd Job Agency, the Cunning Hairs. I accidentally fell into a companion hollow. I don't have a carrot or proxy support. Probability of getting lost in the hollow is at 96.4%. I will be making a voice log of my experience. Let it serve as evidence for future investigation in the case I am killed or turned into a monster by the ether. Anby's hollow survival log number one. From my surroundings, I can confirm this is the old metro junction area of the Cretan Hollow. The metro hollow's terrain is inherently complex. My chances of being rescued will be reduced by 37.8% if I don't consider my next step carefully. If anyone doubts the nature of the hollow's spatial distortions, please use my recording as proof of their danger. Please don't enter a hollow unless you are a professional investigator. Otherwise... Uh, there you are, Anby! Great! I knew you'd be okay! Whoa, whoa! Hey! What's gotten into you? You almost got me! I've met another being of reason. He looks a lot like my colleague, Billy Kidd. 
<laughs> what are you talking about? It's me, Billy. An investigator has previously encountered ethereals who can mimic human speech and behavior. The investigator rescued the ethereal pretending to be their teammate, but once they got out of the hollow, it revealed itself. The city made a huge sacrifice, but it was unable to defeat the monster. It was only thanks to a courageous investigator who gave his life to drive the monster back into the hollow that the danger was averted. Come on, the ethereal would be done for the minute it left the hollow. Wait, isn't that the plot of that movie that was in theaters not long ago? There was a long list of victims involved in the incident. I read all their names. That's called a cast list! Question, who would you most like to have dinner with? Huh? Dinner? <laughs> of course. That'd be the big screen superheroes! <laughs> the Starlight Knights! Wait, wait, wait! Put your blade down! I'll tell you! <sighs> it's really the late night drama actress from... Oh, sweetie. Monica. <laughs> All clear. The individual has been confirmed as the real Billy Kid. Meeting Billy Kid increases my chances of survival by over 67.8%. I'm glad you're okay, Billy. I told you I'm me! It's been a while since we fell. Nicole must be trying to come up with a way to get us out from the outside. But will she be willing to pay for the help? You know how Nicole is. <laughs> Based on Nicole's tight-fisted spending habits, I'd say your original analysis is likely correct. Damn. Now you've got me worried. Let's not get carried away. We have to work together to get through this. As usual, you take the front, and I'll provide fire support from behind. Right. Eliminating target. Nothing personal. We're regular people. You're monsters. We're destined to be enemies. I'll aim for your weak spot. It won't hurt. Huh? Uh oh! I forgot to reload! Okay, buddy, wait a sec! Whoa! Stay focused. Box is 
right at his feet. You're right! Awesome! Saves us the hassle of searching for it. Slow down, Ambi. What are you gonna do? Catch him, then recover the strong box. Just wait. I never destroy all! Yep, looks like ether corruption. This mutation is so intense. I don't think this guy has any ether aptitude at all. Oh, destroy! Get take! His consciousness is still holding on. It's too late. Ether crystals are forming all over his body. He's all ready. Oh, help! Oh, destroy! the core damn it he's almost completely mutated Returning now to 14th Street, where an explosion occurred on one of the upper floors of a residential building shortly after the appearance of a companion hollow. According to our sources, the explosion was set off by public security. In their operation against the violent Red Fang Gang, public security took extreme measures, including the use of Air Force weaponry. The leader of the Red Fang Gang is thought to have fallen into the hollow and is yet to be brought to justice. The head of public security has refused to comment. The bomb squad is on the way. Please, stay away from 14th Street. We'll continue to follow this breaking story. Hey! Listen up! I was there when that explosion took place! This is an emergency! Billy, Anby, and the target of my commission have fallen into that hollow. I need a proxy's help now! Hello, Nicole. It'd be nice of you to knock next time. I feel like I hear of your urgent needs at least three times a month, Nicole. You can make fun of me all you want after you help me deal with this crisis. 
Please, legendary proxy Faithin. What, what trouble, trouble did, did you get, get yourself, yourself into, into this time? time? I just checked. Doesn't look like there's anyone suspicious outside. Don't worry, I wasn't followed. It took a lot to get out of 14th Street unnoticed, but I made sure nobody was tailing me. I hope so. I know things have been tight lately with the general election just around the corner. They're really cracking down on proxies. They set up a hotline and... Okay, Nicole. As long as you understand. Let's get straight to the point. I need you for an important commission with pay. So Billy and Ambie fell into a hollow. I have to get them out. And I need to get back what I've been commissioned to deliver. It's an emergency and you're the only ones who can help. Why don't you make a rescue application with the Hollow Investigative Association? I don't want to make us a target for the association right now. If they found we'd been involved in hollow raiding, we'd be in big trouble. And it'd take a small fortune to pay those greedy vultures off. But I can't just abandon my squad, right? Leaving employees behind. <laughs> that does sound a lot like Nicole's style. Hey, don't be mean. I allocate a large portion of our revenue to the employee rescue budget. Look. All in all, my request is simple. All you need to worry about is getting my people and my clients' stuff out of the hollow safely. You don't accept basic proxy work now? Faithen, finish this job, and I'll clear my entire bill in one go. Okay, deal. Still no good? Then I'll add... Huh? You'll do it? <sighs> Damn. You should have waited for Nicole to add the bonus. Great! There's no time to waste! I'll be waiting for you in the hollow. Uh -uh. Hmm? Did I hear something? N no I don't hear anything. Don't push yourself, Nicole. Rest a while. We'll need your help to take Eo somewhere close to the hollow later. Oh. Deploying your bang boo double, huh? Okay. Hey, can you tend to Nicole's wound? I'll go debug the HDD and help you with the prep work to infiltrate the hollow. Well then, let's get down to business. Hello? Can you hear me, Nicole? Hey. You can put Eos through now. Okay. Right, little one. Off you go, then. 
done. Bangu's on the way. <sighs> well then, can we begin? Ethereal anymore. Great. I feel like my legs piston. I propose now is a good time to take a break. Is that acceptable, Proxy? You all get some rest. I'll take the first watch. Thanks, Proxy. Whew. That was dangerous. It's crazy what a powerful monster that Red Fang dude mutated into. It's all thanks to you, manager. You got us out of there in the nick of time. As expected from Faithen, reliable as always. <laughs> you flatter me. I'm just doing what any proxy does. I figured to save money, Nicole would have left us to fend for ourselves. Hiring the great Faithen to get us out is quite a surprise. If you hadn't come, I'm afraid we wouldn't have made it out of that Ethereal's territory. Thanks for coming to the rescue. Speaking of which, I've always wanted to ask you about that device in your store. You know, the one that lets you sync with Bang Boo and communicate in real time within Hollow. That's some serious tech. Even public security and the Hollow Investigative Association can't do it. With a trump card like that, why didn't you just join the association? Whatever way you look at it, working with us Hollow Raiders has to be more dangerous than the profit is worth. That sounds like an ethereal. Ugh, so soon? I only just sat down. We have to get out of here. Unless, Billy, you'd like to stay here forever? That new Starlight Night belt you wanted. I guess I'll place it at your grave next year. When you say things like that with that poker face of yours, I can't tell if you're joking or not. Working with you two is like watching a never-ending sitcom. Is that why you keep letting Nicole hire you on credit? Uh, I don't know if I should be happy about that or not. But now's not the time. We should get out of here before those ethereals catch up. I've located the closest exit. Take the path on the right, Belle. Please, manager, lead the way. Scan the upcoming area. Fortunately, there are no ethereals on our tail. Keep pushing on to the exit. Follow observation data. The more the better. Get, 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 get. 
Please, manager, lead the way. Watch out. Shaking. Ethereals. They're catching up, Proxy. What should we do? Fight. It's cool. Just come with me. This track laying machine. We can use this. It'll be faster if we keep to the track. for safety valve data. The system log shows that the valve is unlocked by inserting the preset amount of gear coins. Oh, maybe even if I agree, the Starlight Knights wouldn't agree! And even if the Starlight Knights agreed, Nicole wouldn't agree! So take that! Starlight Agent Billy detected. He is forcing the valve lock with the butt of his gun. Valve detected. Open. But Agent Billy has suffered partial damage to his hand's exoskeleton. Ow! It hurts! Goosebumps. It's so powerful! Can you even get goosebumps, Billy? This is a metaphor, all right. Let's just focus on the enemy. My turn. Keep their activity increased. They're getting cranky. Watch out! Standing by. Roger. Let's clear him out. Starlight, shine bright. Standing by. In my sight. Clear him out! 